It's important to demonstrate that I trust you, and to that end, I must first introduce you to those who I trust equally as much. Lady Aurea. The fact is, I can never remove my armor. When you do meet with the village elder, you're going to speak with them face to face at the very least. Is there a reason you can't? A very good one, actually. If I remove my helmet, you may feel compelled to turn your sword on me. And if I were to give you my solemn word that won't happen? Then will you reveal your face? At first, I was only interested in showing I wasn't as useless as she thought. But traveling alongside her... Very well. Ark, what happened to you? I'm not sure myself. The truth is, when I woke up, I found my appearance had changed. Most likely from a curse. It's either that, or I tell her I got transported to this world looking like my video game character. Which I doubt she'd understand. Hmm. If you were truly undead, then you'd have the corruption of death. Basically, you couldn't use healing spells or the power of light to break curses. Not to mention, a spirit creature wouldn't be as attached to you as Ponta is. <laughs> so listen, Ark. Without fail, you've continuously lent me your strength and helped save my dear comrades. Which is why your secret will be safe among the elves. I promise we will not break your trust. Furthermore, if your appearance was caused by a curse, it's possible the Elder may have some knowledge how to lift it. That would be wonderful. I want nothing more than to be rid of this hex! To resume a life where I can show my face! <laughs> then it's decided. <laughs> Let us swear an oath. On my name, Ariane Glenis Maple. You have my word. We won't harm you. And my name is Ark. On a quest to break the curse upon me. I am at your disposal, my lady. What a twist. Here I am, on a journey to break the spell I originally invented as part of my character's backstory. 